Hey everybody, it's Ellie, Hot Mess Mom. Um, I just did a face mask and I'm waiting for this stuff to absorb all the way into my face and I thought I would give you guys a little update as to what's going on in our lives. Um, we have started the potty training process with William. William is my fourth and final child and he is, he just turned three in February and it is April now. Now some people will say, oh, that's too late, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't care. Um, a lot of people have help potty training their children because they send their kids to daycare and we don't do that. So it's just me at home by myself with Addie Ruth, my five-year-old, and William until three when the boys get home and we have, you know, baseball and dance and um, what else do we do? The gym, story hour, grocery store, all my errands and stuff, and then I do work occasionally. So, I, um, plan to potty train my children when it's convenient for the family, and, um, and usually when it's warm outside, because <clears throat> I let my kids pee outside, and that's kind of a, a thing, right, that you get to just pee outside. If that's offensive offensive to you, you probably shouldn't be in my neighborhood anytime soon. Um, but, so I'll go through like what we do and by the time that it's the fourth kid, there is no what we do. It's like, oh yeah, maybe I should do this. Ah. Um, but I will say life happening right now, like the dryer, the heating element on the dryer just went out. And when you potty train, no matter what the method, you need to be able to do laundry <laughs> and a lot of it. And so that's a big hiccup right now. Um, so with Charlie, my oldest, I like researched things and saw all this stuff about potty training your children in, you know, 72 hours or whatever. And that stressed me out and stressed him out and that didn't work so well for us and our lifestyle. So what I do is I have the potty sitting out forever. Like once they turn one, probably there's a little potty visible. Honestly, with the first three, I probably never put it away. Um, just because those first three were born within a three year time span. And um, we were always using those little potties. Um, I do have the little potties that sit on the floor. Um, I also have one of those that you put in the toilet seat and all of mine preferred the one that was a separate potty and then later we graduated up to the big potty. Um, I don't really care. It's whatever works. Whatever that child will pee in makes me happy. Um, and so then I just take the diapers away. I mean, I don't like do anything. They're still around, but we buy special underwear with whatever character. Um, William at the moment, we bought Star Wars because, you know, Star Wars are cool with those big boys. And, um, but then he also has like underwear that's been handed down, which I keep the bigger boys old underwear that wasn't gross. Um, because there will be times where I throw underwear away. Like it's just not worth it to clean it, especially when we get into the world of number two. Uh, uh I want to be able to say, you know what, this underwear is ratty and gross anyway, so I'm just throwing it away. Um, so right now, William is sitting on a towel on the little potty in my bedroom watching TV. And he has his two, his beverages. So to keep him hydrated, I busted out one of the old, like, sippy cups. Um, because we don't get to use these. I just haven't thrown them away yet. And so this is full of water. He's got to drink this whole thing. And then when I was in the grocery store the other day, I saw these, um, their kids' sports drinks. Now I totally think this is a racket. No, I'm not saying this is healthy either. It does say it has electrolytes. But in order to get William to pee in the potty, he has to have <laughs> something to put in it. And so I thought this would be great because it's small, it's novel, and all my kids ever drink, like they have a small cup, cup of orange juice in the morning, they'll have milk at meals, and then water. So something like this, like I know he's gonna drink it, and hopefully there will be progress. Addie Ruth has one of those sports drinks too, because 
um, with all of these kids running around, we're all helping potty train William. And so we all reap the benefits and we all help um, clean things up, William included. And so um, I just, you know, let Addie Ruth have that little treat also. Um, I was able to say to them, like, Addie Ruth, help William get on the potty and I'll run down and get the drink. And so when I came back, you know, he's sitting there, underwear pulled down and everything. It's so cute. And so she gets to be included and gets to be a helper. So she gets some of the rewards as well. So basically, we just start talking about the potty. Take him into the bathroom with us. Talk about washing your hands after you potty and all those good things. And then take the diapers away and put them on the potty about once every hour. And at this point, we did this, we, we eased into it yesterday. And um, he had an accident. And that's, I mean, he only had one accident between the time that he didn't have a diaper or a pull-up on. So I had no wounds kind of like holding it in. So I'm pushing liquids right now so that he can't hold it in. Um, he doesn't get in trouble if he has an accident. We just go sit on the potty for a few moments after that and then get up, wash our hands, and give him a fresh pair of underwear. No big deal. Um, so at this current moment, he has not actually peed in the potty. Um, he did pee outside, though. So he and he had his underwear on, so he understands like that's what's going to happen. Um, yeah. So we're doing okay. He has, um, our pediatrician suggested getting a, a gift and letting him see it and then putting it where he can't reach it. And he knows he can play with that toy um, for a little bit after he pee pees. So, and I also promise you can have one M&M if you sit on the potty, if you do that. And um, so the gift, I'm so bad. Uh, we went to buy some pull-ups because that's what we'll do during nap and at bedtime. And like we're going to go to the grocery store in a minute because I'm just not dealing with that. Um, <laughs> with the pull-ups. The pull-ups had a free backpack in them. So he's got a little Lightning McQueen backpack that he's excited to carry around. So I didn't even buy a toy. It just came with pull-ups I was going to buy anyhow. That's how you do it. Hashtag mom goals. Um... So we're, we're doing pretty good so far. Everybody still has a good attitude. I'm afraid of when number two comes along because, but we'll talk about that later. Thanks guys. I'm at the laundromat. Um, we've been potty training William. Uh, the dryer's been out for four days. So with a family of six, that is like six loads of laundry. And it's Good Friday, and today the guy came for the second time to look at it and said he was going to have to order a part. Um, so, yeah, I had to come to the laundromat and uh, had to get a babysitter to keep the kids while I was gone. It's been a long time since I've been to a laundromat. They take credit cards now. The last time was probably... Um, like college. So fun times. I'm like sweating from bringing in all this laundry. So yeah. So I'm just here like hardcore laundromat laying on the bench. I kind of think it's not. I mean I've never had this much time just to myself with like forced nothing to do. I think I might go get a coffee real quick before my clothes come out of the dryer. What'll make you feel better? Cookies. Cookies make your boo boo better? Yes. But it's time to pee pee in the potty. No, it's not. <laughs> Are you crying? No, I'm not. What are you doing with your face? I don't want to. What are you doing? Ah, don't laugh. Why can't I laugh? You're making a funny face. No, I'm not. What's in there? Uh, 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 uh.